Hey what's up guys, my name's Kat and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, because we've all heard the announcement of the new Pokemon games, um, Shield and Sword, there's been a lot of hype around Score Bunny, which is one of the starters, um, and I wanted to show you guys how I'm going to make my Score Bunny cosplay. Now, there has been a huge amount of designs. Jessica Negri's already done one, um, but there was a particular design I really liked uh, by Kajin Man. I will link their Instagram down below so you can see it. Um, but I really liked their design, and I'm a big believer in repurposing cosplays or repurposing uh, cosplay items to utilize um, the item to the best of their ability. I'm broke, so I need to use what I've got. Uh, so this design was perfect for me because I already had a lot of these items. So I'm going to show you the stuff that I've got. Um, and if you're also a broke bitch like me, you can also do this design if you have these at home. But there are so many designs out there that I'm sure you can find one uh, that will suit you and what you have at home. Um, so give me a moment, I'm going to grab all of my stuff for you. So the base of the cosplay is a like bunny suit which I actually have one. I bought this maybe two years ago. Um, I was going to do White Wonder Woman, which I still probably will do, but this is perfect for the body of Score Bunny. So I literally bought it from Boohoo. I think it wouldn't have cost me more than $20, I don't think. So that is going to be perfect for the body. Uh, then about mm, four years ago, I did a Riven cosplay, the Battle Bunny Riven cosplay, and she wears a little like necktie and she also has these wrist cuffs and a little bunny tail, which literally all the moons aligned. It's like, it's perfect. It's perfect. So what I'm going to do is unpick this part uh, because a lot of people are depicting Score Bunny with white around her neck but also with red so i actually also have this red bow tie which i'm gonna try and incorporate or i'm thinking i might incorporate it down in like the boob area because i have to tape my boobs together to give myself some cleavage um i need to sort of cover that so i'll see what i do with these but who knows but this will be perfect the right colors and repurposed from other cosplays. Perfect, I love it. For the shoe part, um, I think in the uh, redesign, she's wearing just normal heels. I have a pair of cosplay heels that I <laughs> just spray paint or I can Photoshop, Photoshop them another color. So I will be doing that, they're just basic heels. And I also have some thigh high white socks that I'll be wearing as well because she's got a white body. Now, the only thing that I don't have is her ears so what I am building today are her ears and what I've done is I've cut out I literally just freehand drew this shape I cut out two pieces because what I will be doing is getting some like chicken wire or craft uh, wire and sticking it on the inside of here then I'll be sticking the pieces together and this little inside bit I'll be sticking down here uh, just so they stand up and they don't flop around on my head, I'll also be attaching some sort of clip to the bottom so I can clip them to my wig. Uh, but that's what I'll be doing today, so I'm going to go do that and then I'm going to come back and show you what I've done. Alright, so I've glued them together and I wanted to show you before I paint them um, what they look like. So this is the finished result. There is a bit of a bubble there. I'm not a bubble, but like a glue lump and where the wire is. But anyway, the two pieces have been glued together. There is wire on the inside and this is what the wire looks like. This is the wire that I use. It's like a really thin, it's super bendy, super mold, um, malleable. So I literally just used that. I cut some, folded it together, glued it down. Hot glue is also your friend. Don't be scared of it. Um, I hot glue literally fucking everything together. So glued that in there, stuck the two pieces together. I have bent the bottom because the wire bends. Um, that will create a good platform to stick to my wig. Um, so that's both of them. And obviously I've then hot glued this little part on now. Now I have to prime them. I will be doing that with wood glue and then I will paint them and then we can stick them on our heads. Okay, so what I've used to prime it is wood glue. It's like $12, you get it from Bunnings. It's awesome. All I do is put it in a cup with a brush and then I paint it on 
and with these little tabs that you bend over you can actually hang it from a washing line or like any sort of suspended string um, so you can do the back and the front at the same time know how long that's going to take to dry maybe mm, an hour or so you can speed it up if you get a heat gun and heat gun over it um, but I'm just gonna leave that I'm gonna go up have a cup of tea um, some people do like to water down their wood glue just with water um, if you're gonna do a couple of coats but I'm lazy so <laughs> we're going full strength wood glue and I'm just gonna do one coat this is a cosplay that I'm literally just gonna wear at home um, so I don't really need to make it perfect and I'm lazy <laughs> Good morning guys, so I had to wait overnight for everything to dry, so I have fully painted them now and they are complete, so the ears are complete. So now I can pretty much put them on, so all I did, I wood glued them, I only wood glued them once because I'm lazy, and then I literally just went over with acrylic paint, I spray painted them white, um, and then I painted on all of the other details, so there you go. That's what they will look like on my head and now I'm gonna put the cosplay on so you can see what it looks like alrighty so I now have the final look on um, what I've done I have threaded the attachments for this bow through the white collar um, and I've just done them up at the back I've got my wrist cuffs on I've got my ears on which you can't really see but I'll get up in a second I'm wearing this wig from everyday wigs um, I've got my thigh highs on and I'll put my shoes on in a second and I'll show you over in the mirror All right, this is the final look I've used these shoes because they will be really easy to Photoshop red but yeah that's the look there you go guys that is the completed look um, let me know if you also try to recreate this at home, tag me in the comments, let me see what you guys can do. If you liked this video, please give a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you also look out for on my social media, I will be posting full images of this cosplay. Um, I will probably Photoshop it a little bit just because the bodysuit is so ill-fitting. I would never ever wear this in public, um, but because it is a little bit ill-fitting, I will be photoshopping it a little bit. Um, but make sure you keep an eye out on my Instagram for the final photos. Also, if you would like one of these chairs, check out my sponsor, Xenox Gaming. I will leave a link in the description box below. Uh, you can use my code as well for 10% off your purchase. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!